Guys, welcome to episode 2 of Simulator Into the Future. So, last time, obviously, a bunch of bad stuff happened. Graham Potter was sacked, and um, Chelsea actually buy um, Diego Simeone from Atletico by paying a release clause or something. So, to replace him, they actually just went out and signed Thomas Tuchel. Uh, I mean, they are known for being a dirty team. But taking from a team what took from them is very smart. Also, you can see that Sevilla manager must have been sacked on Villarreal because they aren't currently employed. Taking a look globally, the biggest chance here was actually Julian Alvarez to none other than Bayern Munich. Valverde to Liverpool, I'll be made up with that one in real life. For 77 mil and Flora to Arsenal. I'm sorry, have you had a bit of a Okay, I do not recognise. What? I do not recognise you. Um. Who? What? Why are you? Why have you played for these teams so many? That uh, looks very similar to last season's. It might still be last season's now that I think about it. What's award voting? You are not allowed to. Okay. Oh, okay. 2022. It's on. Can I, can I please? Okay, this year's team of the year is just Man City. Plus the exception of Kortua, Alaba, Kimmich, Mane, Salah and Lewandowski. Um, goalkeeper of the year goes to Thibaut Kortua. That's last year's, isn't it? Okay, everything's set to last year, which is a bit of a predicament I'm in. Um... Oh, it's just the exact same rankings, okay. What's going on here? I'll just go back to this format. Um, Golden Glove goes to Courtois. Adam Ramsdale actually finishes second, third, just behind Alison and that. Um, Bernardo Silva's just won the best award. Not Ballon d'Or, but the best. Like, very bizarre. 13 goals and 12 assists. Okay, yeah, that's a good season. The 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 highest goal scorer, I think this is Lewandowski. Um, Haaland with 23. Um, what even is this? I don't know, but um, it's Gavi winning it. So I think that must be, like, best go young player. Um... Speaking of best young player, the best young player this time is Jude Bellingham still. Um, I don't know who this says off scope to this, but 24 goals in one season is phenomenal for a 20-year-old. And Yorlin Timber, who is yearning a move away from Ajax. Golden ball this year goes to Lewandowski with 40 goals. Absolutely crushing it compared to everyone else. And finally, the Ballon d'Or goes to... Bernardo Silva, what? Why, why is Bernardo Silva won the ball? Okay, something mad's gone on there. City have definitely won the Champions League, which I forgot to check last time, because there's no way Bernardo's won it. Well, not the Champions League. The Premier League ends with Man City winning it again, with Liverpool second again, Chelsea getting top four at least, and Villa fourth again. Um, Arsenal actually miss out on the Champions League. Newcastle and Wolves rise quite dramatically. I'm assuming other teams that went up went down, not going to lie. <laughs> oh wait, no, we have Watford surviving. That's very interesting. Middlesbrough don't have a manager, I don't think. Or a captain. Middlesbrough are in absolute shambles. Norwich... Okay, okay, that's where Gray and Potter end. Graham Potter is Norwich manager and got relegated. That's him gone, I'm guessing, for the third time. Brighton are in slots. I'm assuming they've been through multiple captains. Let's just check that. Um, nope. Last time was ZRB and that was 2022. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Is Chelsea still rocking the game? Simeone, yep, Diego Simeone is still rocking the job. Arsenal, they might have lost Arteta. Nope, he still is. I'm assuming that Eddie Howe is still manager. 
I'm just trying to see if like any other big teams lost managers. Like Jaeg and Klopp and Pep, I don't think have moved. Yep, still normal. That should be. Yeah, Spurs currently without a cap, well, without a manager and actually finishing ninth. Meaning that they don't get Europe. Um, what? UEFA Europa League. Who got the UEFA Conference League then? Wait, what? Unless Newcastle just won the Conference League. The thing is, though, that would mean that Tottenham get Conference League. Hmm, very strange. But anyway, that's the prem. I'll just see if there's any sat managers that I've noticed. Is it the new managers section? I'm assuming that that's just real life because there's been quite a lot of changes since then. Um, I wish just like just a simpler way to. I wish there was just a simpler way to check. Hmm, I don't know what I'm looking at this stage. If I just clicked on Prem Championship, um, it is Sheffield United going up over Walls Millwall. I almost said Walsall for some reason. Um, it is Bournemouth winning it, which is quite boring. Um, who's the other team then? Um, okay, that is very boring. Long and Forest they go up. That's the only thing I guess. Yeah, she Sheffield United's different, but. Out of much, I know it sounds so random, and I shouldn't be saying this, but um, Millwall, I'd rather go up to, over Sheffield just because it's interesting. Oh, Birmingham went bankrupt. That's fun, isn't it? Okay, Birmingham in administration. <laughs> that's that's something, I guess. I guess there goes Birmingham. Um, have you still got Chris Wilder, Stoke? Yes, you do. Okay, um, how much debt are you using? They, they would have finished mid-table if it weren't for it. Okay, um, can I see finances? They're insecure. Okay. If, can I see their finances? I'm, I'm curious why they're in absolute... Does that mean Solomon Hauler or Solomon Hauler in administration as well then? Very strange. I, I've not seen. I mean, obviously, we saw that ASSA were in administration, but that's just because they started like that, isn't it? Does that mean that Juventus should start an administration? I don't know. But anyway, Birmingham could go bankrupt. Very strange. Um, wait, is. um? I wonder if Ollie's still got the job for Derby. But, um, did they. I'm sure they just couldn't afford to keep him. I've, Sam Allardyce is no longer uh, manager. I know Sam Allardyce is retired. It is Huddersfield and Blackpool going straight back up with Peter Brett. Boo. That's boring. Okay, never mind. They're off from done absolutely terrible. Yeah, no one's administration here. Um, Ollie's just got Derby to fourth. Imagine if Ollie gets Derby to the Prem somehow. Um, unfortunately for Ipswich, Ed Sheeran's team can't, um, can't win. Um, Blackpool and Huddersfield straight up. I mean, that's obviously expected, isn't it? I mean, who else was going to win other than Huddersfield? Grimsby, okay, I feel like these are probably... Have you just had a transfer takeover or something? Because it's very unusual for a team... Okay, the finances are okay. But you know what I mean? It's unusual for a team to, um... To have just been promoted to the National, well, League 2, to go straight up. Um, more can Port Vale, Salford and Charlton go down, so that's only one new boy to team going down, I think. So, win-win on my end. A very eventful season in the manager's department. 16 days, 20, 240 days, 178 days, 9 days, and 118 days. That's a lot of managers they've been through. Oh, okay, interesting, interesting indeed. Um, it's Mansfield, Burton and Sutton going up. So Sutton go up, and even better, Stockport. Two newer teams to the division have went up. I can see they're absolute shambles there. Um, okay, that's sad, Walker and Barnard go straight down. That's sad. I was hoping to at least see one of them survive, like... 
clearly two teams off recently went up a thriving. Exum finally get themselves up, good for them. I'll check here, but I can't really look for that view. Chesterfield go by playoffs. Flight after you almost go up, after going, um... They almost get bat back promotion, fair play flight. I'm assuming they're about to go up in shambles, because I'm assuming they've just had 50 players on loan or something. Actually, let's check their transfers. Do I? I feel like I recognise this Andy Taylor fella. Okay, he was Warsaw manager, never mind. I know who Walsall are, obviously, it's just the fact that I don't think I'd recognise them for being a Walsall manager. Uh, where's the oh, transfers? Okay, yeah, there's a lot There's a lot of free transfers which have clearly worked. And departure of Luke Charman. Okay, what's this? I don't know what this means, but there's a yellow line. Same theme, really kiddish man go up with second place winning playoffs. It's a very big theme with um Atherichum this time going up, so clearly something going on. Every second place team wins playoffs. Um Bradford Park Avenue would okay, I was about to say they're the only actual team going down, but nope, it is Bradford Park Avenue and Petersburg Sports. Um why is the multiple new teams unless the league system's just shuffled because um Michael over Nutrim Borough FC you know, what a creative name what FC United of Manchester I thought that said Ryan Reynolds was the manager I was about to say what's this what's going on here why is like Man United off wish here what's this all about <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? FC United of Manchester. I, I don't know why I find it so funny. It's just like the most blatant rip-off ever. Fort. A team who finished second won playoffs. Ooh. I don't get Is there some sort of theme going on here? Anyways, Dawkin going up. Champions back up. As well as Maidenhead going back up. Not for too dramatic. And it is Slout Cheltenham. Um, Chelford. Chelford and Chippingham. That sounds like a fun team. Yeah, they must have just shuffled the leagues up or something because I don't recognise Toro being here. Unless it's just tons of teams they didn't know got promoted. You could be administration, which is not fun. Last time, but anyway, FA Cup is won by Man City, and the last season it was won by Liverpool. Up the Reds. Anyone cares? Arsenal win the Carabao with. Not to that button. With Man City winning it last year. Such an intense rivalry. Newcastle will win the Conference League, and as I'm guessing, yep, West Ham won it last year. To go win um, the Europa League. For some reason, they're playing in Dublin. Not the most iconic place for the final. And last season, it was Man United. Man City win the Champions League at Wembley, so I guess I was right about them winning it. With last season, Man City also winning it, so that's sad. Double for Man City, one of them in Istanbul, which now makes it probably iconic for Man City fans. Once more, win La Liga with 102 points, probably the most we've seen or I like, recognise. I'm assuming that's um, Athletic, I mean Real Sociedad. Um, and Atletico Madrid also winning this. Thomas Tuchel is still at Atletico, yep. For some reason the backbone's not working and I can't click off Atletico. I'm scared. See how severe have been. Okay, they're still missing sight of a manager. Who, what, or oh, what happened to the manager? He was sacked and not replaced. A bit bizarre. Um, most, actually, no, I was about to say most licensed, most unlicensed teams went down, but none of them are licensed here, clearly. He has to be back, doesn't he? <gasps> oh, yes. Can't kill them for it. 
Um, Jitafe, I haven't seen you in the top flight in a while. Well, I mean, when I say top flight, you know what I mean. Um, Pellegrini, have you been sacked? I think Pellegrini manages them in real life. No, he resigned. And he never replaced them. He was irreplaceable that they retired his position. Also, Xavi's still boss manager and Angelotti's still Real. Teams going up. Oh, um, Vallecchio, Las Palmas. Um, did someone go bankrupt? Why is the two teams who've went up from playoffs? Is, is there been a change in rules? Barcelona B, you're still existing, okay. Um, have they changed the rules or something? Because I don't think um, there's supposed to be multiple teams going up. Four teams going up. Anyway, push that aside. Unless one of them's like won some trophy. Let's see. Playoff. How can there be two playoff winners then? Does someone want to share that with me? What? Am I missing something here? What's gone on there? What's going on? G do not win France. In fact, it goes to AS Monaco. Who is your manager? I thought I was about to say Felipe Coutinho. I was about to say what's that about? PSG's have probably been sacked. Nope, they don't even have one. That might be why they never won it. It's take having a manager. Christian Gesser was sacked. Um, Alright, I'm guessing the Lille manager was sacked. And they don't even have a vice captain. Now you're going down was Bordeaux, Cleverfoot, and FC Metze. Metze, I mean. Um, I'm guessing these won some cup or something, because how have these qualified for Europa League? Wait, what? How have you qualified for Europa League in 11th? Definitely had to have won some weird French cup. Okay, I feel, I feel like the games are changing the rules of football now. Why is the five teams promoted? What? I mean... I feel, I feel like this team should be disqualified just for their name. But, I mean, at least two new teams go up. I mean, Dijon aren't really that new, though, are they? And FC Algico. I don't know why five teams get promoted. Something's going on with the... I, I, I don't know what's going on. I generally don't know what's going on. Why is there so many teams going up and going down? Oh my gosh, Bayern Munich won the league? Who would have figured out? Um, I feel like now that PSG haven't won their league, I feel like Bayern are generally going to be like the only team who wins it every time. Like, No offence to Leipzig and that on Dortmund, but I feel like it'll be like five years when someone finally wins it, because obviously PSG have lost it a few times to random teams. But you know what I mean, like, at this rate, and obviously the Prem, I feel like Liverpool and Arsenal are going to win at least once before Bayern lose the league. Anyway, Osberg and Rezabeg um, both go down. Frankfurt were in relegation playoff. They almost went down. Um, who's your manager? Who are you? Okay, you've got an eventful career, haven't you? I mean, he's won something with Leipzig, but he's, how many things have gone on in his career? And apart from that trophy, all of them look quite negative. I, I'm stuck on his manager page. Going up with Mainz going up. Um, freshly relegated team, I forgot who you are, but you haven't went up. I can tell you that, I know Mainz have went up, but it might have been Botcham. Um, Dostred... Just couldn't have beat um, Frankfurt. Still don't get why they went. They almost went down. But um, okay, what's happened to Saint Polio? What's gone on here? I was sure a few seasons ago in real life. Yep, you, uh, you, you finished, you finished fourth and got relegated the next year. What's that all about? 
you, you, you're in the Bundesliga, I don't even remember you being in the Bundesliga, sure you finished dead last, but still, what's this all about, how do you go from 5th to 4th to relegated? And for anyone who's wondering, it's Hedersen, Braswick, and finally a team wins relegation playoffs in Germany, is Saarbrücken going up. Whilst the teams going down are N5, um, Frasberg 2, don't know how they even survived one year, and Hallecher FC. And I don't know why Werner Brenham 2 are almost as good as Werner Brenham these days in like real life. I mean, we're there. The same thing, great, I've just triggered so many people. But at least we finally get a playoff winner. A double, they have, haven't they? They won over Napoli last season. Now, it is Milan winning the league with Juventus, Roma and that. Um, Atalanta, I, I don't like to, but the fourth, we both think they sacked the manager. They have as well. You can't do this to be Atalanta. Have we resigned? Makes sense, he's been managing them for seven years. He has done some historical things for that club. Surprise, two promoted teams go down. Actually, Brazaza, I don't think, went um, up this year. But anyway, it's Ventura and Saladin, Saladin here. Probably pronounced that wrong. Going down. But it's Sampantoria and Brescia are going up. With Spazia getting playoffs. Who would also just one position. Oh, wait, they both got playoffs. I don't know what that's all about. Um, what? What's going on there? Why, why have they not went down, but they have? I don't even want to figure out what's going on at this stage. More than, yeah, go down, even though they finished above a team who didn't go down. It's not like Birmingham, where it's in their administration. Let's just, let's just see. They might be in administration. They don't have a manager. I don't think that really matters, though. Um, they, they've, had, they've, they've played Juventus, not like TV, money's not helping. What? Have they been relegated? Oh my gosh, they might as well be related by every team on the planet. Hopefully for those curious, I'm just going to go through a few managers who we know have been sacked. Um, Patrick Vier has ended up at Atrax in France, who obviously survived. David Moyes is not managing. Anyway guys, that marks the end of this um, episode. Are you happy or are you sad with how you doing obviously certain fans are going to be made up with how to do and like obviously Villa Archie I definitely know is going to be happy with the fact that Chris Wilder is managing Stoke and obviously Villa a consecutive Champions League team and are you Birmingham waiting in administration and possibly could go bust it still says that I'm ad in administration I'm financially unstable so It'll be interesting to see the go bust, but obviously it's still not. It's you still wouldn't wish that on any fan. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.